Okay, so my dream. This is a dream, by the way. People are tuning in. I'm explaining a dream. This didn't actually happen. Okay, so in my dream, I was chilling, sleeping in bed, and I hear like sirens, right? Like I hear sirens outside of my house and I hear like a knock on my door. I'm thinking like, what the heck is that? And a paramedic comes into my room and he's like, I'm here for you. He says, your heart rate is too high. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, no, it's not. And he was like, yep, your smartwatch called 911. Ever since I had to call 911 a few months ago and I went to the hospital, I've been having like reoccurring dreams about it. So that's where this comes in, I suppose. I was like, okay, fine, I'll go to the hospital. So I'm chilling out of the hospital and I realize I'm in like this pregnancy type ward. Everyone around me is pregnant in this area of the hospital. And I think to myself, oh gosh, I hope they don't think I'm like pregnant. Like that's my issue is that I'm pregnant. So a nurse comes up to me and she says, you look exactly nine weeks pregnant and we're gonna do an ultrasound. And I was like, oh shit, okay. So they do an ultrasound. <laughs> they say, yeah, you're definitely pregnant, but it's like not where it's supposed to be. It's like ectopic, it's moved. And they determined that it moved into my eye. The, the pregnant, the fetus moved into my eye. And I in that moment, I was like, oh, right. I have a fake eye. Like, just, yeah, okay, I have a fake eye. That's right. And I took it out and you could see there was like a little like speck. I was like, oh, that's the fetus. And like, we like took it out. And then <laughs> there was also a tiny Pokemon card. Like, I mean, like, tiny Pokemon card and a little note, like a printed note that had like some letters on it, but it didn't really mean anything. And some tape, like it was taped into this hollow fake eye. And I was like, oh, this must have been what was causing my issues. This must be why, you know, I ended up in hospital. So I took them out, I, you know, I put my eye back in and then I, I went home. Um, <laughs> and I invited some friends over to talk about this crazy, like I was pregnant, it was in my eye. Anyway, I was in the kitchen with my sister and we were looking at the window and you know how sometimes like at the top corners of a window, there's like sometimes like spiders or a spider web. There wasn't a spider, it was an octopus where the spider web would be, like the octopus was there. That was just like a normal thing in the dream. Like, oh yeah, it's just the octopus that, is there, it's just always, like that was a normal thing. There's an octopus in the window. Uh, my sister goes, the octopus caught a bird. And I look at it and it's like a whole ass eagle in this octopus's like mouth. It's like, uh, like with a giant eagle, like trying to eat it. And the eagle is still alive. And I was like, this is fucked up. Like we gotta help it. And so we try to like, I don't know what we did, but like we managed to like free the eagle out of the octopus's mouth. And, but I don't know, like, I don't think we really did anything. I think it just like got out and it turned into like a golden retriever and it was standing on a roof outside of our window. It, it was like a, a dog, like a, yeah, a golden retriever. And I was like, well, we gotta call like animal control or something. Cause this looks like someone's pet. And then my parents came home and I told them about my eye pregnancy and they were like pissed. They were mad at me. And I was like, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. And I just left. I just went on like a walk. I don't know like where to, I just left. And I had to pee like on this walk. And I was like, oh, I know I'll go to the hospital, they have to let me use the bathroom. So I went to the hospital, but I could not find, for the life of me, find a place. Why am I sucking so bad? I could not find a place to like the, like I couldn't find the bathroom, but this, this hospital was so futuristic. It was huge. It had all these check-in kiosks. Instead of going to triage, you would check in and they all had these really nice mechanical keyboards, like a variety of really cool mechanical keyboards, even like stenography 
keyboards. I was like taking it all in. I was like, damn, this is cool. And then I actually wandered into like some operating like, what the fuck? I wandered into some like operating room type area and somebody yelled at me and they're like, you can't be in here. I was like, I'm looking for the bathroom. Like I gave him full sass. And then his friend's like, why did you yell at her like that? And that's, yeah, that's all I remember. That, that was my dream. Uh